So here we are, day nine, September 21, 2020. And I just got off work doing a report here. This is like deja vu. I'm a little bit more beat up than yesterday. I didn't get any sleep at all last night. I think I, I think I got an hour maybe but I laid in bed I mean I went to bed early I got like I laid there for like 11 hours um, at some point I designed this t-shirt that said I survived 2020 <laughs> I was listening to more uh, Michael Pinto of Pinto Portfolio Pinto Strategy something like that saying that might be a good t-shirt for someone to make and I thought that might be <laughs> and I just found a website where you could design anyway so Penny for my thoughts um, why does it seem like every time every time I go to do something to better myself a confederacy of dunces surround me Somebody wrote a book called that. For every step up you you take or try to take, a confederacy of dunces will surround you, try to pull you down. Or some people, if they see you down, that's like they they'll try to kick you. I I a lot of people have a lot of good support, and I just don't have that. So I rely on. Listening to KMFDM, I guess, was a lot of withdrawal type of songs. Like, I was just listening to one before I came home. DYI, or Do What Destroy, or uh, Destroy What Destroys You. I'm like, I, I know what they're talking about. Destroy What Destroys You. So, it's my withdrawal is pretty good here um yeah it's just i'm i'm like super tired and i i can feel the effects like you could tell i can't even speak um the effects of that and abuse that make make you weak i can i can feel that like i can barely move and it's not just tiredness it's it's like brain fog and everything else and um, like I said, people, some people, they can tell you're a little bit down and they'll, it's almost as though they like it, schadenfreude, you know, sh shameful joy over your misfortune or your, your, I didn't tell anybody, man, that I was, withdrawing from alcohol and um, benzos I actually have four milligrams of benzos left but considering I, I have for the last year been taking six on average six milligrams a day and drinking beer every day and that five percent stuff I went from 4.2 in Utah like six months ago the five percent and I, I just uh, I think that's what pushed me over the edge just um, became hyper sensitive to allergies and like my skin is itch, itchy a little bit that's not a good sign I wondered if that was like a liver problem because Bill Byrne when you have liver failure well, it's, it, my skin's not yellow, but I just read about that anyway. Sensitive skin, like my nutsack. <laughs> it's a little bit itchy. I ain't touching it and don't want sweat on there to make it more itchy. I know it sounds gross, but it's just what you feel. And like your eyelids will get sticky or your eyes if you sweat, which I do at my job. And for the most part, like, people have been kind of leaving me alone. I haven't been around a lot of folks. But here at home, I'm just around 
some bad type of influences not people that drink but just I uh, I don't know if I should I just say it I mean it's uh, my mom's kind of got dementia and if you've ever known somebody she's get going into it and some people are they get to be like rude as they ask you stupid questions and sometimes they come off as rude or they'll do something that's kind of rude like throwing my bike out in the rain when it's over there <laughs> my expensive ass bikes because they wanted to clean over there or something and so they decided they'd leave it in the rain because they didn't want it over there against the fence I mean little things that aren't even issues you're living off of retirement somebody else's retirement and your social security and asking me things like oh you work for a restaurant you know we just changed owners and hey I, I'm working my butt off and people I hate when people ask me about my job am I worried about my job you know what I mean because yeah but the, the bigger question is are you worried about interest rates spiking <laughs> next year or hyperinflation are you getting ready and they have no idea what I'm talking about the counter to that is to take the moral high ground and say oh you, you gotta be prepared spiritually I'm like fine but you can't there's no reason why you can't do both of them right at the same time and that's what I'm doing when you think about it I'm getting stronger and I'm remembering these people who kick me when I'm down and I don't mean just since I've been going through withdrawals over these nine days remember I didn't really kick I didn't start getting the shakes until like day seven for day eight and um, yeah yesterday really had the shakes even though I had four milligrams of, of um, clonopin on me um, tonight's the last of that and usually the shakes last for four days for me but this is the worst I've ever gone at it and given these two things up at once I mean I've never I expect it to get pretty horrendous by Wednesday probably last three weeks this time instead of two weeks um, just try to collect some sleep and but I uh, you know I remember I'm gonna remember the people who have sort of taken advantage of my downtrodden ways over the last year because I know how to rise up from the ashes and decay and um, what it's like you know when I was real skinny and working out and and sober and everything I was like, like ten times smarter and um, people couldn't pull one over on me so it seems like some people kind of have and I just if you're hung over all the time and you feel like shit you're more likely to just kind of go uh, and ignore him a little bit so I'm, so I'm making a list every once in a while it's good to make a list of the people who are bad influences in your life and just X them out <laughs> if you can if you can't oh, goddamn cat he's doing his thing clawing at me yes I know I know you want more food hi and um, sometimes you can't get away from those people, like the old lady here. And I'm stuck in this little shitty basement, and I'm paying her a bunch of money, and she wants me. I think she's. I I've overheard her from the basement complaining about me, like I'm. I don't. I don't help her, you know, doing this and that, and I. I do 
you know, and I, I would mow the lawn as long as I can mow it on my day off and um, working like the nights, you know, like what am I supposed to do, get up, go 24 hours, I mean, you, I just don't think that some people realize what it's like to work. <laughs> And they have like all day they'll come out and do something and then she'll go back in and come out and do something. Am I supposed to be a little slave boy? You know, could figure this out in advance and I could easily Yeah, I'll cut up down tree limbs. I mean she shouldn't be doing it anyway. I think she wants neighbors to see her doing it. And told me that she has this like habitual cough. I mean, now I'm going on a tangent, but she's had it for a few years, and I think she's got, like, uh, some kind of bad disorder that it's not like, like, <sighs> like pneumonia. It's something going on in her throat, like she could have, everyone in her family's died of some kind of cancer or lung cancer because they're downwinders. They grew up as downwinders, and I um, think that's probably something to do with it. We call them downwinders from the Nevada test site. In my grandpa's journals, he would say, he would say, uh, it snowed again today in July, because <laughs> they didn't know what that was. <laughs> and talking about the ash clouds that used to come down into his fields. Well, her thing was like, let's move down. She wanted to move down to Cedar City, but um, like I'm holding her back or something. That's something she told my sister. So I had to talk with her and told her if, if that's, you know, <laughs> hey, believe me, man, I can fucking take care of myself and do, et cetera, et cetera. Usually when you rent, you don't have to fix everything and buy a, all kinds of stupid shit and have your stuff, your wool, your expensive $40, $45 wool blankets thrown away because you don't like them. Someone doesn't like them. Shit like that that's been going on. Throwing my bike out in the rain because you don't like where it is even... So it's back there with the other ones. I just had an extra one getting ready to um, change a flat and I left it there and she rolled it out into the rain. This cat's really, really weird. He only likes me. Only likes me. Uh So I'm going to remember that I'm, and something that just happened recently where I had a notice on my truck that it would be towed because it's been in the street for a while and, and, and um, you know, it's, uh, it saves me a lot of money not to have that thing registered. Besides, it's a mountain truck. It's mud tires. It's one of those rock climber. It's not something you drive around. It's not a street vehicle. It's street legal. I just need to get insurance for it. But I just... It's not something you drive around, man. You kind of ruin <laughs> the veneer. I'll eventually... I'm using it as a bug out vehicle, kind of. Just need some mud flaps. And uh, light covers that got thrown off, so... Um, the battery was dead and I charged it and quickly jumped in it the next day and here come the police. Anyway, um, got, a, got out of Dodge with it and brought it over to my sister's and the old lady was saying, I, you can't park it in my driveway because if you park it clear up in there, then I'll have to put my truck behind it and my other vehicle and it'll be more closer to the sidewalk and I don't want 
it to be vulnerable to people breaking into it. Even though it was up in the driveway for months, I just moved it out so they could do something to the driveway. <laughs> and now I can't, and there was a post dated thing from the sheriff saying, you know, we're gonna come get your car if it's still out here by tomorrow, which had been the day after I got this notice that she showed me. She found it on the lawn, I guess. It's one of those that they, they stick on your antenna. So I, I'm, I got back and I seen them coming with the tow truck and I thought, fuck. So she was willing to have, she didn't know I was gonna bring it to my sister. She was willing to have them tow it. And it showed me this notice a day late willing to have them tow an expensive ass truck it's like 10 feet high it is it's a show truck it's a it's a 95 f-250 it's 120,000 miles it's got a newer engine in it though um, I rebuilt it it's just anyway I'm going to talk about my truck so it's at my sister's, it barely fit through her driveway on the side of her house. And um, I almost, they almost towed the shit, that motherfucking thing out of there. Almost lost it. And the fact is that the old lady won't let me put it in the driveway. And I'm paying rent everywhere where I've paid. It's only 300 bucks a month that I'm paying here, but I don't get to do nothing and I don't get to... I have no amenities except the washer and dryer, that's it. I just stay in my room. I have this cat that's really, I'm not allowed to claim him. He's a feral cat. I've known him for a few years since I've been kicking it here. But that's one of my goals is to uh, leave this place behind, man. Uh, I wonder what's going to happen with the economy, but I got some ideas. I'm having this weird feeling. Hi. Are you going to show me your butt again? No, you're not, because I ain't going to let you. Here, how do you like that? See? Fucking cat loves me, man. He's most active at night, that's why I see him sleep during the day. Get fucking ass out of my... There. He wants me to give him some little kitty cat treats. I've been bulking him up with some calories, man. Some cat calories. For winter, because he was real skinny. And I'm getting emaciated and he's... Got to cut all these knots out of his fur. The old lady likes him, but since the neighbors said, well, we were the ones that found him in a box and we claim him, they claimed him except for when he had to go to the vet and then they were just willing to pitch in, but we feed him, so. He always eats what I feed him. He eats at night, the old ladies. I call him spirit and I, I got, <laughs> I think I'm scaring my mom. I got this familiar cat. <laughs> but she made this damn thing for him. Little cat box. The little pads. She must like him. But I ain't, by the way, since I'm not allowed to claim him, I ain't taking him to the vet. Otherwise, I would take him to the vet and have him get his shots. Put a chip in his ear. Put a little collar on him, you know. Give him a, a name, name. Oh, yeah, I'm so cute. Like he like leans into me, like and pushes on me. See, pushes on me. When a cat does that, it's, it's 
supposed to mean they're being they want attention anyway so I'm trying to do this fast I don't want to upload this for hours get your fucking ass out of there I watched my video from yesterday and it was slow so imagine me when this is over I'm going to be fast on my feet I'm going to lose a few pounds it's the only way I'm going to survive start lifting I got a bunch of bungee weights and shit I don't know uh, I do know how to lose a ton of fucking weight I lost I've done this a few times where I gained a shitload of weight and then lost a shitload of weight so like I know how to go on a lifestyle change it's not a diet it's a lifestyle change and you have to stick with it or you'll just get fat again if you go back to eating more calories or crap I should say oh, I love you Tweety but I'm just giving him calories for winter so yeah man making kind of a mental list of some of the people that have been total digs to me and I with this old lady I'm thinking man this is she's gonna get herself and other people killed when the shit hits the fan and you know I've been I've got a little bit tucked away some a little bit of preps you know uh, I might have to throw everything in a storage unit again and then and move make sure there's somewhere where there's water I've got some water barrels but to reconstitute uh, a year's worth of food is like a thousand gallons of water do you know that that's what it says on this sheet of paper I got from emergency essentials I think it said a thousand gallons it was whatever, however much, however many barrels I have. And then I bought a 300 gallon water bladder. It's really super small though, and I don't understand how you could rely on that. It's really thin. Unless you have like a cage or something to hold it in. Uh, so. Yeah, 300 gallons, and it was expensive, and it's just this little tiny thing about that thick when it's all folded up. About 16 inches square. So these are some of my plans. I'm just... Tomor tomorrow's not going to be too bad. I It's going to be worse than tonight, and tonight, like, I'm just dead tired. I'm going to... I'll still take an ant abuse. Tomorrow I'll skip it. Wednesday I have to work. And Wednesdays are really busy because we have like free pie on Wednesday if you just order like a f cup of coffee or fries or something like that. So they get really busy. And it's just me right now. Since everybody else... Oh, I wanted to correct. Yesterday I said everybody else wants to work only once a day. I meant once a week. So that's how I got into getting th at least 30 hours because they have no one that wants to come in they want to claim unemployment benefits but I quit listening to the politics now almost because I'm, I'm really trying to pay attention to the economy uh, how much longer can they keep this up what can we expect uh, whole thing with vaccines, you know, not really into that. So I do like the idea of buying a sh of making a shirt that says "I survived 2020," but I think 2021 is going to be harder. So do I make one that says "I survived 2021" and have that be like the one that I sell in 2021? Because a lot of people ain't going to survive it. It's going to be worse. And Pinto knows that. Michael Pinto had that idea. And I'm thinking... 
no one's going to give a shit about this year. If I'm right, with the piece right about the economic situation. So I'm just trying to get strong. I got to first go through withdrawals before I, you know, I got to give up my alcohol and benzos and anything I'm reliant on and then change my eating habits. And um, like I said, I'm gearing up for a fight. You know, and I'm about ready to put my Viking rings on for moral support. But this came after the end, man. I was jamming to that. I'm surprised they're not more famous. This is like every song was relevant to me right now. See this cat? He can see. See how, like. It's light outside and you can see, we have these sliding doors. You can't see inside the house, but he can see inside the house. Hi. Hey. Hey. Yeah, cats see in the dark and not only that, but they see through reflections like two-way mirrors and shit. So, um, I expect more shaking tonight. Maybe I'm so dead tired. I could catch a couple hours of sleep. Um, I felt like I was going to vomit earlier. And I haven't been eating. Like, I have no appetite. I took two... Oh. Uh, I had one cup of coffee. I decided I'm going to start documenting this. <laughs> one cup of coffee and I had these two stimulant pills that are actually diet pills called Stimorax Hardcore and they really get you going but they didn't I didn't feel them tonight I mean I was so dead tired but I think I am feeling them I still feel really tired but it would be way worse if I hadn't taken those and they do wear off after six hours, unlike energy drinks, when they're going through withdrawals. And another thing that happened to me yesterday, when I was trying to sleep last night, um, I have restless leg syndrome in general. Clonopin kind of takes that out. It eases it, but it's bouncing back with a vengeance and I have to stretch my legs to to get it to go away and you know ordinarily it would just be like one time a night when I wasn't drinking or had up in just once before I go to bed and now it's last night I was it's back with a vengeance where I had to stretch out like four times I had to get up out of bed so that's part of my insomnia it just makes things way worse and your your legs are like Bleh. and my head's like Bleh. and my shoulders are like Bleh. and all you do is sit there and try not to think about all this negative crap that's going on around me and the people that seem to be they're like trying to scare me or something <laughs> I mean just doing things and I'm, I've my temper's been like kind of quick and um after I got off from talking yesterday the old lady said something that kind of set me off so I made it but I didn't say anything I didn't really understand her question it was kind of like a nonsensical question and I didn't understand as like yeah whatever it's the same old same old whatever same old whatever said something like that and walked off and I've decided it's best to do that under these circumstances, just avoid talking to people as much as possible. 
Oh, he's a good boy. Other than blow up at him and just keep silent. You know, I knew a waitress that went through these hard withdrawals where she was up four days and and her ears were ringing and she came to work every day couldn't get any sleep and everything I'm like yeah I get it and you get the shakes this is gonna be twice as bad for me like I don't think it's ever been this bad because I've never drank so much over the past year this especially the past little while and taking like all these benzos and shit like ugh, I have quit drinking before and benzos simultaneously but wasn't was only maybe doing less than half of what I had been doing since last September September this year now so it's been a year so I'm expecting some I just hope I don't die you know, I, I know I can do it, but wait until after today and I'm run out of the four milligrams of clonopin that I do have. And then Wednesday, Wednesday nights, t that's... So tomorrow is Tuesday, okay, that'll be day 10, and then I work on Wednesday, that'll be day 11, and then I have Thursday and Friday off, and since I expect these withdrawals to go into, I mean, they began right away, I mean, I was getting insomnia right off the bat, you know nine days ago when I when I stopped drinking period cut down my benzos by two mil milligrams a day which isn't that much I'll, I'll run out tonight and then and then the fun begins and then the fun begins but it, <laughs> so I got, I got all these dates in my head and I just don't want to confuse you, but I suspect I suspect that I will be peaking Friday Friday sometime and then uh, I think it's gonna be longer than I've ever seen it before Friday or Saturday should really be peaking but as long as I get some sleep in I might just pass out from exhaustion I'm not joking I've seen people pass out their blood pressure goes way up and people have done like crystal meth and shit three days and you hallucinate you know <laughs> it's probably gonna happen to me while having all this horrible shit it's dealing with a stressful job and stressful people and stressful people at home and this crap I've been putting up with lately I just uh, but, but um, I'll bounce back I'll bounce back so it's Monday, September 21, and by next Monday, I should be doing pretty good. By next Monday, I should be doing pretty good. I should be out of the, the woods. Oh, she does. So um, that'll be good. I like my get up, <laughs> my bicycle. Shizen. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. My good boy.
He's my good boy. Yeah, so, um, everybody who's been bitch or an asshole to me better look the fuck out because I'm, I'm going to make a comeback from even from a year ago. I'll be better than I was. It's just right now I'm worse than I have been for a, a year and going through this is like horrible. It really sucks. He's looking through the window. We're being watched. I can always tell. I just watch this cat to know what's going on. So, yeah, maybe next week, you know, Monday, I should be rearing to go, man, kicking some ass, and then it'll get better from there. But by Monday, I should have recovered enough. This week is going to kill me. This week's going to kill me, but towards the very, very end of the week, I should get I should get a full eight hours somewhere, I hope, or four hours. Something, man. But starting next week, man, I'm going to be... I think the worst will be over. And then you've got to deal with the long-term withdrawals. So right now is like acute. This week is the acute. The delirium tremens, I expect... In the next couple days or so. So that's not fun. I've had those. And I really expect that this time based on what I've been doing. So, um. Alright, well, I better end this. Take care for now. TTFN.